Hello everyone, welcome to LIDA Prep. This is episode 7 of last 5 years of CAT paper where we are discuss, discussing the questions of CAT 2020 slot 1 uh, with the tricks to solve every quant question under 1 minute. Let's have a look at it guys. Guys, uh, you can subscribe to LRDA Prep for your 100% slavers coverage for CAT exam preparation. Also, LRDA Smear Live is my referral code that you can use to get 10% off on an Academy Plus subscription. Here is the next question guys, question number 24, a very simple question of mensuration asked in CAT 2020 slot 1. It says on a rectangular metal sheet of area 135 square inch in a circle is painted such that the circle touches to opposite side. Now, we have a rectangular sheet given to us and a circle is such that it is touching the opposite two sides here, right? If the area of the sheet left unpainted is two-third of the painted area, then the perimeter of the rectangle in inches is what? We are supposed to find out the perimeter of this rectangle and the perimeter of a rectangle we know is two times of L plus B. L plus B plus L plus B is 2 times of L plus B. Now, this whole area is equal to 135. Look at this guys. The ratio is given. The, if the area of the shift left unpainted. Now you see that this is unpainted, right? This is the painted area, right? This is a painted area. This is unpainted. Area of the sheet left unpainted is 2 third of the painted area. Two -third of, if I am saying the painted area is 3, that means unpainted area will be 2. So if this painted area is 3, unpainted area is 2, the whole sheet area will be 5. But the whole sheet area is given to you as 135. So if, if I am assuming the total sheet area is to be 5 and it is given as 135, which you can see is 27 times, can I say that? Can I say the area of the sheet which is painted would be 3 into 27, that is 81. And this would be 2 into 27, that is 54, right? Okay. Now, if the area of this whole, area of this whole circle is 81, and if I draw this diameter, and let's say this is the radius r, can I say pi r square will be equal to 81? So, r will be equal to 9 upon root pi, which on rationalization, you can write it down as 9 root pi upon pi, right? It would be 9 root pi upon pi. Okay. And then you also see that this whole area is given to me as 135. If the radius, the radius is 9 root pi upon pi, can I say that this whole side, the length of this whole side will be 2 times of the radius because radius plus radius are diameter which is equal to the width. So 2 times of this, that means 18, that means 18 root pi upon pi will be equal to 18 root pi upon pi will be equal to the width of the rectangular sheet and because the area is 135 here now I can also find out the length length into width is the area that is 135 length will be equal to 135 upon this width which is 18 root pi upon or multiplied by pi 9 into 2, 9 into 15, that is 15, so this will be equal to, this will be equal to 15 by 2, pi upon root pi, again rationalize it, right, you will see that this will be 15 by 2 root pi, right, on rationalizing, rationalizing by root pi, you will get the length is 15 by 2 root pi, now that is it, perimeter is what we are supposed to find out, 2 times of L, what is L? L is 15 by 2 root pi. 15 by 2 root pi. 2 will get cancelled. Plus 2 times of B. That is 36. 36 root pi upon pi. Now if I take 3 root pi common. If I take 3 root pi common. I will have 5 plus 12 upon pi. Which is a perimeter option number 1. A simple question right? Only the, uh, this calculation might look complex to you, but actually the question is based on a very simple topic. It could be done easily in CAT exam. Next question is uh, a kind of function question. Question number 25, it says, Among 100 students, X1 have birthday in January, X2 have birthday in February, and so on. 
if x0 is max of x1 into x2 up to x12, then the smallest possible value of x0 is. Let me first explain what this question is talking about, then I will discuss the solution. You see that x0 is max of the values written in the bracket. That means if I say, let's say, if I have the values written here as 1, 2, 3, up to 12. Now, what will be the value of x0? The value of x0 will be equal to 12, right? Because it's a maximum of all the values written in the bracket. Whatever values are written in the bracket, the maximum of it will be the output. And that is the value of x0. Now, as per the question, I'm supposed to minimize x0. If I want to minimize the x0 value, I need minimum possible values in the bracket. But there is total 100 students that I have to put over 12 values. So there are 12 months and 100 students have birthday in the different month. You can choose as many students in a particular month having birthday as you want. But you have to make sure x naught has to be minimum. Now if I have to divide, if I want to minimize each of this value, I will divide the 100 students equally among all the 12 months. So you see that if I give every, if I, have, if I assume that 8 students have birthday in January, 8 students have birthday in February, 8 students have birthday in March and so on, 8 students have birthday in December, I will be able to accommodate 8 into 12, that is 96 students. But still 4 students will be left. So, but I want to minimize the value of a, all the, I want to find the minimum possible value of x0. I'll make sure the minimum possible value is available in the bracket. Now, do I need to give this whole four students to one month or should I distribute it evenly on four months? Because I want to minimize, I'll make sure that these four students are distributed evenly on first four months or any of the four months that you choose. So, basically x0 will be 9, 9, 9, 9 and rest of the values will be equal to 8. Now because I have the word maximum written outside of the bracket, so what is the maximum, what is the maximum possible value among these 12 values where 4 values are equal to 9 and 8 values are equal to 8, maximum value will be 9. So therefore the minimum possible value, the max is the output of x0 and because we are trying to minimize it, we are distributing the total 100 evenly among all as many values as possible, right? So minimum possible value of x0 is equal to 9. That's the question number 4. One more question, the last question of CAT 2020 slot 1. And with this, we are done with CAT 2020 slot 1 questions. It says f of 5 plus x is equal to f of 5 minus x. A kind of function that so that the value of f of x is same as value of f of uh, f of 5 minus x. Now for every real x, that means x has to be real number and f of x is equal to 0. So f of x in terms of x is a kind of expression which we are not aware of. But if I make f of x as 0, it will have 4 distinct root. What does it mean? It means whatever is a graph of f of x is equal to 0, it cuts x axis on 4 different values. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the 4 different values at which f of x will be, f of, graph of f of x will be cutting the x-axis, right? So these are the roots, alpha, beta, gamma, or delta, right? Whatever you want to take it as. What are the alpha, beta, gamma, delta? Basically, these are the values of x, those values of x at which f of x is becoming zero. Now look carefully, if I want to find out how does f of x looks like, what you can do is simply put x as five minus x in this expression. If I put x as 5 minus x, I'll get to know that 5 plus or, or simply put x as x minus 5, not 5 minus x. Simply put x as x minus 5. So we will find that f plus x minus 5 will be equal to f of 5 minus x plus 5. That means 5 and 5 will get cancelled. You see that f of x is equal to f of 10 minus x. What does it mean? That means the value of f of x is same as value of f of 10 minus x. So if I'm saying that x is one of the root of the equation, or if I'm saying that alpha is one of the root of the equation, the another root will be same as 10 minus alpha. Because both of these two, if f of x, if I'm saying alpha is 0, alpha is a root of it, 
that means f of alpha will be 0. Now if f of alpha is 0, f of 10 minus alpha will also be 0. And if f of 10 minus alpha is 0, that means I would say the another root of the quadratic equation would be 10 minus alpha. And then if I'm saying that gamma is a root of this third equation, the gamma is a third root, then the fourth root would be 10 minus gamma. So if I want the summation of all of these values, this will get cancelled, 10 plus 10, answer will be 20. That's it. Answer is question number 4, guys. That's the answer of the question. So with this, we are done with all question 26, 26 questions of CAT 2020 slot 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. And now that we have completed this series, there are more questions that I'll be uploading. I'll be starting with CAT 2020 slot 1 in the next part. In 7 videos, we have completed the whole CAT 2020 slot 1 series, guys. You can cover 100% syllabus coverage in your next 90 days on Unacademy Plus. These are the courses I will be launching on Unacademy Plus. Algebra, Arithmetic, Data Interpretation, LR, Geometry and Modern Math and this whole syllabus will be covered in the next 90 days. You can, you just need to attend two sessions, three hours of classes every day. Three hours of classes per day in the next 90 days and your whole quant DA LR will be covered. LR, this is my referral code, LRDS Meet Live that you can use to get 10% off also. To attend my free sessions happening on Unacademy Plus, join my Telegram group TargetCat 2021 with Samir. This will give you a lot of uh, free content and videos update about uh, all of on my YouTube channel. There's a weekly scholarship test happening on the upcoming Sunday at 12 p.m. You can stand a chance to win scholarship up to rupees 55 lakh. You can use my referral code LRDSME Live to unlock this test and register yourself for this test to appear on the upcoming Sunday at 12 p.m. You can take it live to compete with the best. India's largest scholarship test for CAT. Super fast and fun with all India live leaderboards. You can also identify and improve your weak areas through detailed video solution. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. See you in the next part. Thank you.